What's good, guys? This is the one and only Fine GM, also known as GM Fizzle. And I want to make a video today. And um, this video, I would like to talk about the difference between um, online play and offline play. I feel like a lot of people uh, don't really know the differences between online and offline play. And um, the, the impacts that they both have and different strategies that work on online play and strategies that don't work in offline play. So I like to make a video to talk about that because I feel like a lot of people need to know the differences and what works and what doesn't. Okay, most of my Tekken career, I've only been an offline player. Tekken 7, well, Tag 2, I played a little bit online when it first came out. But um, Tekken 7 was the first like Tekken that I really played online a lot. At first, I was having a lot of trouble adapting to online because um, online is so different. I had to get used to the lag. Um, everybody was so offensive. Um, people use uh, lag tactics. Like They'll do something that's normally unsafe on block and then you try to punish and you can't. Or they'll do something that's pretty negative and then they'll do a move afterwards and you get hit by it because of the frame issues online and stuff like that. So I had to get used to a lot of scrubby stuff like that. Or like when people whiff a move and then after whiffing a move, they'll just throw out something else because the recovery is so fast that they, they're allowed to just do stuff like that. So like online, it took me a long time to get used to. But from when I played from playing online so much, it's that everybody's so offensive online. Everybody's just offense, offense, offense. Like, really offensive. Nobody plays any kind of defense online whatsoever. Nobody plays any kind of defense. And the crazy part is uh, the game Tekken 7 kind of allows you to do that. It's very offense-orientated. You know, the difference between um, doing that online and offline is that if you whiff offline, you're most likely going to get punished. You whiff online... You're probably gonna, you're probably gonna still be able to block shit, cause you recover so fast. You know what I'm saying? Like fake frame traps to say if you do Brian's down forward one 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 on block into four three, that will work online. Offline, you're probably gonna get hit with a magic four in your face or counter hit or something. Also, like uh, the full fledged offense that people do online, um, it's hard to move online. Because of the lag. Online, you, offline, you'll be able to, like, sidestep shit. Like, let's say somebody does DF1, DF1, you can step or one jab in a 1-2. You sidestep that to your opponent's right. Um, so, there's a lot of fake setups that go online. So, if, you, if you're if you losing online a lot, you shouldn't really get too mad. Because other people get away with a lot of stuff. Um, like, whiffing and... Like, whiffing moves. Um... And then, you know, mashing after whiffing on recovery or, like, something unsafe into um, another button. You know what I'm saying? Something might maybe be from minus 15 that you probably try to launch and um, probably try to punish it and the right punish doesn't work. So, things like that. Offline, you'll probably be able to punish. Most likely, you'll be able to punish everything. So these minus 14, you'll be able to punish it. Um, so this minus 15, you'll be able to punish it. So um, some characters to work a lot better online, like Noctis, because it was down back two and down back one plus two. Um, Safina is another one that works really well online, because she has a lot of plus and her stuff tracks so well that you could kind of just go crazy with her and you could get away with a lot of like stuff that's not supposed to work, like uh, um. Mantis 2 into Mantis 2 again on block and then you can get hit on counter hit. That's online shit. That's not supposed to work. So stuff like that. It depends on the character too. Like Noctis is mad good online because down back 2 and all that shit is really hard to block. But um, offline you could just step it or block it on reaction. You know what I'm saying? So that's the it, that's the difference between online and offline. Online, um, you get a lot of merit from being really offensive. You know what I'm saying? And most people that play online, they're just offensive. But you take that shit offline, it probably won't work. Because you could step, punish properly, and react to stuff offline. So it kind of, Tekken Online kind of teaches you bad things. It doesn't teach you how to play proper defense. 
So a lot of these online players, they go with the same play style offline and they end up getting bopped because the shit don't work. It does, online tech and don't teach you defense. So I feel like most online players, they should try to probably play defense more instead of just trying to mash the buttons with their face the whole time. Because that's what people do. Online, so pretty much what I'm saying is online is all offense. Offline is more, it's still offensive, but you, your defensive options will work a lot better. It's really hard to have defensive options or use your defensive options online. And of course, there's always, like I said earlier, these characters that are just too good online, like Lily. Any character that's usually, you know, has bad tracking or is pretty unsafe will probably be good online. Any offensive character, Marduk, things of that nature. You know, so when people say, oh, you know, the bar, five bar is the same as offline. No, it's not. There's a lot of times you try to punish something online, don't work. There's a lot of times somebody does a fake frame trap. It's like minus seven, to a button. You get hit on counter hit. It's a lot of delay and stuff like that. So online is good to learn matchups and shit. And if you don't have no one, no one else to play with, online might work out for you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. So I think uh, that's the pretty much the difference, man. Online teaches you matchups, and your offense will probably get a little bit better. But at the same time, it's not it's not the real thing, man. A lot of shit, a lot of shit doesn't. It's not supposed to work. Work online. So that's the difference between online and offline play. Online is more offensive orientated. Offline, you can use your movement, back dash, sidewalk. You can you can pretty much get away with everything with enough practice. So um, I just want to make this video to, to tell people the difference between online and offline play and uh, how online play makes offense a lot better than what it really is. It makes you get away with a lot of buttons without having any kind of defense. And um, offline, you have to have some kind of defense. Even though in Tekken 7, you could still be somebody with offense, but at least your defensive options will work a lot better um, offline. I think the offense being so good online also is because of the fact the game is really offense oriented with raise drives, arm moves, and movement not being that great and stuff like that. So it's a it's a rough thing. But I feel like a lot of people should know the differences. And um, if you want to get better at Tekken, you should definitely... Um, don't focus too much on your online offense and also practice some defense for once. Because a lot of people just like to mash, mash, mash. And the reason why people play like that too is because people are scared to block things. They're not confident in their defense and they don't... Most most online players, they... This is how they think they need to win in Tekken. is either mash you out of stuff, guess right, or mix you up. You know what I'm saying? That Those are the only things. So basically, they're probably just gonna stand there and guess. They're gonna try to interrupt you out of everything, and they're gonna try to fit. They're gonna try to fifty fifty you. They don't use spacing, um, movement to make stuff with. You know what I'm saying? Sidewalking with punishing. They don't do that, so they're missing that key thing. You know what I'm saying? Because they focus on everything else just because of online. You know, a, a more veteran offline player will also focus on with punishing and spacing and stuff like that. So that's the difference between online and offline players online's offline online players just focus on certain things and are very offensive returning offline players is uh they focus on the whole thing you know punishing with punishing sidewalk and space and all types of stuff so basically that's the difference between online and offline and um i made this video just to you know so people could know the difference differences between online and offline play and uh, more online players should be a little bit less cocky, I feel, because a lot of stuff you guys do don't, don't doesn't even work in real life. Like that button, 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 button thing and not worrying about somebody sidewalking you or punishing you, right? And moves being safe on with and, you know, uh, unsafe moves being safe, safe on block. That's like, that's just online stuff. So thanks guys for watching my video and taking your time. Um, I'm going to make more videos like this. And, um, yeah, I'm going to make more videos like this. I'm going to make more content and whatnot. I'll make another video soon. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is FightingGM. And my stream is twitch.tv slash Uh Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.